Welcome back. And I have to start with berating myself because again, Git is not being used enough and I just focus on pushing forward without committing. And that's my, uh, that's my bad. So let's do git add all and git add, uh, sorry, commit. And we are gonna put a message. Um, so what the last thing we did, uh, we did replace, replaced some text in templates and uh, created a my app model. Perfecto. Okay. And so for files changed. Da, 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 da. Okay. Happy enough. Um, okay. So now, as I mentioned before, as I mentioned in my previous video, we need to sync up our model that we just built with the database. And to do that, it's as easy as just typing Python manage py and make migrations. What you're going to see now is not just simply going with this model, because what I didn't do before, and you maybe noticed that, what I didn't do before is I didn't migrate before, so we have some migrations that m need to be migrated. So for now, I'm just cr preparing the migrations to be... Uh, okay, so I, uh, I'm just preparing some migrations, and for now, it just found some changes here. But as I do Python manage py migrate, you'll see a bit more happening here. There's some auth admin auth, some some tables that we didn't make. Only this one here. That's the only app that we are we are updating. So there were some migrations at, in the background that we didn't migrate, and that's why we're saying this. But if we try it again nothing happens, like no migrations to apply. So we are on the clean migration. So I think it's a good moment to create a super user, which is like an admin for our page. And we can access the admin module that comes free with Django. Well, Django is free, so it just comes with Django. Um, but we don't have an access to it yet. So the the, the fact that we did the migration already is, uh, it's a good thing because if we didn't do it, we wouldn't be able to create a super user, but we did. So now we can just go and say and type Python manage py create super user enter. And now so you can just go with the with your login or just go admin uh, admin and uh, email address, any email address, AAA. We won't be using it now. Gmail or just admin. And uh, password, just type in some password, uh, repeat the password. I'm usually using this very simple password because it's still just local uh, on local host, uh, host, so nobody can hack it anyway. So it, it always asks me, do you want this very simple password that it doesn't even have eight characters? Yes, yes, computer. So now I'm going to use those. So username was admin and my password was Bim bam boom and not now Safari. Thank you for asking. Uh, now we have our administration page. Cool. So in here, what you're supposed to see is different models that we have for that we have built for our project. We have some groups. Uh, we have some users, and they're all under authentication and authorization. Um, it seems like we don't see our website app, and we don't see my apps model, my app model. Um, so what needs to be done in here is we need to go to website and there is this admin thing here and what we have to do is um, actually before we start registering our models we need to import them so from here or we can say from website that's the same for Django we can see all the packet all the packages from website import models and then in here we can do something like admin.site.register and we're going to register models.myapp and that should allow Django to display our app in here and ta-da! It appears here, we have our website app here so all the models from website will show in here. Um, what I just remembered is I forgot to add a um, one field to our models and you'll see in a second what but let's try to put in first test app and add some test description created by admin 
and save. Okay, so we have in my apps, my app one test app. And as you can see here, this is where it comes from. String, this, this function string. Um, so it's just string, string representation is used in here. Okay, so that's my app, my app, then ID and then name. My app, ID and the name of the app. And that's how we know in this list, we'll be able to recognize which app do we want to access. But I forgot about one of the, um, one of the fields and I created one entry on purpose because I want to show you what happens when you have some entries and you add some fields. So I want to add field called image and that will use mo models.image field. Okay, I'll save that. I'll go here, type Python, oh, Python, manage py, make migrations. And it says here, first of all, we have something, uh, some problems with pillow. Cannot use image field because pillow is not installed. Hint, get pillow from blah, blah, blah. Uh, or run command, and I think this is something that I prefer to do. Um, as far as I know, I can just type pip install pillow, and that should do the trick. Okay, we have pillow. Um, pillow is just something that uh, Django uses for um, image compression. So it's, it's like a standard thing. If you're uploading big files, it, it makes it a bit smaller because in web development, it's, it's, it's a big thing. So now let's do the Python manage make migrations. And it's asking me, you're trying to add a non-nullable field. So I didn't put null join here. Non-nullable field image to my app without a default. We can't do that. The database needs something to, pop to populate the existing rows. So we have some entries in there and it's asking me, what do you want to do? Do you want to provide one of default uh, for now and just put that in there? Or do you want to quit and change the, change the model? To be honest, I don't know how to make a default image entry. We can try that, to be honest, that, that'll be interesting. I'll just put one and see what happens. Okay, and let's try to migrate it. Migrate. Okay, seems to be working. I'll refresh this. And we have some problems there. So all the way down and get pillow. So my image because pillow is not installed. So it thinks there is no pillow. So I'm going to just stop this, terminate and re rerun our, and here we are. So sometimes if you install something, you need to rerun it. And let's go inside and there is some image, <laughs> one, which doesn't exist. So I suppose what it stores is a, a URL to an image, but it has its own functionality. So that's why we're using image, um, image field. But we can use some images here and I don't think I have any images on the computer yet. So but this is how you import an image using an admin site. Okay, so we have something. We have some images. We did the migration. We did, uh, we created a user. We uh, uh, accessed Django administration, added some entries. So this is pretty cool. Um, in a second, we will use those entries to populate our page. So this is where the cool stuff starts. So I suppose thanks for watching and see you in the next video.